So a lot of times when you're farming, like when you're farming, you're just running around trying to keep everything alive. That's a big part of it. It's like, make sure the chickens are alive, make sure the starts all stay alive, make sure the plants in your field stay alive. You're dealing with an ecosystem. And I mean, like, the most complex thing on the earth is the ecosystem. And you're trying to create a controlled ecosystem and get it to do what you want it to do and get it to maintain itself. Excelsior Inn and Restaurant started Excelsior Farm five years ago. And it began as a small farm just to provide produce for the restaurant. Over time, it's been clear that like, you know, we could be growing a lot more for a lot more people. We could do farmer's market. We could, you know, expand our offering to other people. And so I came on just last season to manage the farm and to actually implement that vision. Jeremy and I have been good friends for a couple of years now. And the first real interaction with the farm was getting out in the public and and see people like literally just loving it and asking questions and intrigued and, and you know, taking home produce. And I know that that there were probably 50 to 100 people who, you know, we fed that night. It's kind of neat to go there and realize, oh, wow, a lot of people care about what I'm doing. Like, I didn't just disappear off into the, the way out in the sticks. So I'm out here four days a week, and then I'm gonna help off and on with market, maybe not every week. And the deal was that I could put as many beehives on the property as I wanted, and that I could also get fiddle lessons at least once a week or so. When I'm working out in the dirt and I'm planting things and I'm harvesting things and I'm really tired, I'm looking for like a good leisure activity that isn't high tech, you know, and it's just something enjoyable to sit back and do. And fiddle, you can take it with you wherever you go, it's really easy. And so when I'm out here at the farm, I just end up sitting down and playing a little bit of fiddle every day. And I think it meshes really well with in agrarian life. I'm excited for the season and I'm excited to see the farm grow and see, you know, see the avenues that we're working with. We're not just growing bigger and bigger as soon as we possibly can. We're actually just trying to use the space that we have more effectively, more efficiently, more productively, but also more responsibly. In reality, the greatest thing that I've learned thus far, I mean, it's been a day and a half, is that it's possible. You can grow your own food, you can provide for yourself, you can make enough of a market income to cover your expenses and, and really like survive. It's a lot of work, but there's a certain amount of joy and appreciation that comes from that, I think.